360 booth operators very nice to see you guys again if you guys are here for the very first time my name is david rodriguez and i started this channel just to share a bunch of 360 booth advice news information and all that great stuff that's going to help you become a better 360 booth operator and the only way we can learn to be better is when we come across challenges obstacles and issues because that's an opportunity for growth and with that being said guys i know that a lot of us experienced lots of issues this past weekend using the touch picks app now should we be mad at touch picks no we shouldn't be pissed off at touch picks like i was and of course i'm saying that after i cooled off it was frustrating so let me share uh, what happened on friday i had an event and then on saturday i had another event saturday was a wedding saturday is when i experienced the most crashes on the touch picks application every time i'm about to start an event i usually have the assistant and myself go on the booth and we'll do what's called a test spin to make sure that it's not shaky that the quality is coming out great it's rendering and uploading at a decent speed to the ipad sharing station so that's what i usually do and i think you should too and so that worked perfectly fine i was like all right let's go ahead and call the people and let's get let's get this rolling so i called people and a group of four people uh came on and so they got their props and i count them down the arm starts spinning, records for six seconds, and now the video is on my phone and it shows rendering. Not rendering, but it shows that it's it's doing its thing, it's downloading, right? And then my phone screen says, look at TV. I look at TV, nothing's going on. I look at the phone, and on the top right, it gives me options. It says, finish, cancel. And I'm thinking like, well, yeah, I want it to finish. I want it to finish, but I don't want it to cancel, because usually the first spin is always the coolest spin because it's just it's something about it. It's like it happened naturally. And so then I'm waiting and I'm waiting and nothing's happening. So then the people are putting away their props and I'm thinking like, crap, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nothing's happening. And I know that some of you guys experience the exact same thing. We're just there hoping it downloads. It did not download after a minute. So I said, hey, guys, you know what? Let's go ahead and rock it out again. Let's get on the booth. Grab any props that you want. I'll see you guys on the booth. And they were good, you know, they were cool, but they, I could tell in their energies, they were like, what, what do you mean, like, what happened? Because I'm, I'm good at sensing these things, like, some of you guys are probably not as sensitive to it, but I was. So they get on the booth, and I try to hype them up again, and here we go, and the arm starts spinning, and I'm just, like, trying to get the crowd going, and then it stops, I look at my phone, I'm looking at my phone, and then again, it says finish or cancel on the top. So now I'm counting. I'm past the 45 second mark. I get to the one minute mark. And now I'm praying. So I went from counting to praying and nothing's happening, right? So I tell them, hey guys, we're having technical difficulties with the application. The video is not saving properly. We're going to go ahead and do some troubleshooting if you guys can come back in about 10 minutes. So the reason I really made this video is not to complain about touch picks not working, but the reason I made this video is to remind you guys how important communication is and transparency as well. I understand that if there's people on the booth and you feel like you don't want to tell them that we have to do this spin again and you rather just kind of like sweep it under the carpet, that's going to come back and bite you in the ass. Now try to have that clear communication and let them know, hey guys, we're experiencing difficulties but we're work on we're working on it because what's going to happen if you don't address it and you don't um, you don't share this information with your attendees and the, and your client, then the expectation at the end of the event is that everyone that went on there is expected to come up on the gallery at the end of the event. And if there are videos missing, you're going to get an email, and in that email they're going to be saying, "Hey, we're missing this video," and now you're in a tight spot because there's a video missing. So the client is either going to want an explanation, a partial refund, and that's already cutting into your profit, credibility, and reputation. So this is why right now I'm making this video to show you guys how important it is to make sure you tell the client, hey, we're going to have to redo this video or this video did not save. Let's do it again. And I know there's people waiting in line. And the last thing you want to do is hold up that line any longer because people are they're, they're good to go. They want to get on the booth. And you as an operator, that's a lot of weight on you because as a director, your job is to make sure that everything has a nice flow to it. So if you can run with a nice flow and you're, and everything is optimized and everything is moving, then that's great. But there's going to be times where we don't have that luxury. 
And so I just want to encourage you guys to communicate that over to your client and to the attendees because it's better that we do something about it while we're there at the event versus trying to negotiate once the event is closed and we're back at home and packed up, right? So I hope this video encourages you guys to just be bold and be uh, you know, open and have that line of communication with your guest. Now, these are the type of tips I'm going to be sharing with you guys because... I'm not going to be dishonest with you. I had this happen to me twice where the event where the client told me, hey, there's a couple of videos missing. And I told him, yes, I'm, I'm aware that there was a couple of videos that didn't download. So we had to redo those. And, and there was another situation where the videos that I thought was in the gallery was not in the gallery. And now it's like, how do you deal with the client and how I dealt? I'll share how I dealt with them. In fact, if I open up my email. Like I said, this is all about being transparent, right? So let me go ahead and right here. Okay, look at, check this out. Arrow, hey Carlos, thank you for your patience. Here's a master link and screenshot of all 52 videos. The screenshot is directly from the internal gallery device I used during the event. I really feel bad that I couldn't retrieve those two videos from the very beginning. I started this business because I take pride and passion in creating memorable moments that can be held on to forever. I'm going to lose money and refund you $50 for those two videos that didn't render. It was out of my control, but I'll take full accountability in hopes you give me an opportunity to be part of your future celebrations. You guys really know how to party, man. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Sincerely, David Rodriguez. So that's basically telling the client, I'm aware of the situation. I apologize. This was not my intention, and I'm going to try to make it right. Are you okay with this? So making it, you know, this could have been avoided if I would have caught this and addressed it right there live at the event. Even if I had to stay an extra 10 minutes just to let them know like, hey, you know, I took 10 minutes to troubleshoot. So let me go ahead and add those 10 minutes to your booking because we weren't being, uh, we weren't shooting a production during the 10 minutes of downtime. So guys, I hope this video inspires you to be a dope ass 360 booth director and that your business grows. Now, because I want your business to grow and I want you to be a cool 360 booth director, I'm going to continue sharing all these things with you guys every week. What I want to start doing, my intention is to every Monday do a recap of what I learned from my events during Friday and Saturday. So it'll be like a Monday recap and maybe I'll do a video. Or maybe I'll just go ahead and go live on YouTube so that you guys can share your uh, feedback as well. What went on on your event, what stood out to you and things like that. So I hope this video helps. Join the 360 Booth Global family on Facebook. The link is below. If you're watching this video because you're trying to gather as much information as possible before you start your business, I'm very proud of you. You're doing your diligence. If you guys want to make uh, sure that you are budgeting yourselves, make sure you don't pay retail price for your 360 booth. Okay, so the link to our supplier is in the link as well. If you guys want to get your booth at wholesale price with warranty delivered straight to your door. I hope this video helps. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.